Oh. It's a drought through the pandemic, so I'm taxing for that work. I need 33 a bow and I need 18 for a perk. I spent 1800 on lean and spilled it on my fucking shirt. Niggas mad that I've been shining, girl, I do this shit for dirt. I'm that nigga that been trapping out here, getting it on my. She's a track star. She don't run away when it gets hard. She gon' run the dang that can get far. You know my name when it's this all. Dumb and dumb and that shit, dumb and dumb. Ooh, ah. Da 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 da. Ooh, ah. Yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. It is your boy CJ back like a butt crack for today's video. As you can see by the title down below, we will be reacting to this drama plugs video about DDG. Finally, he finally let it out. Y'all remember when DDG and Pretty Boy Fredo was beefing and they were supposed to box? Whole time, DDG finally admitted not wanting to box Pretty Boy Fredo. And he talks about, he also talks about in his video how his label is holding him from dropping music. Now, I, I was hoping to see this fight because I feel like it was going to be a good fight. You feel what I'm saying? I wanted to see. I wanted to see who was gonna win, and if DDG's brother Dub would have tried to run in the ring, you know, cause he was beefing with him too. But yeah, SSH versus Zooted. Zooted not even popping no more. Matter of fact, when's the last Zooted video you seen? SSH still going strong. I mess with both of them. Though, I'm just saying. Before we start with this video, can everybody who watches leave a like and subscribe? Mostly subscribe, cause you know I'm trying to reach. 3,000 subscribers before this year end. Not 3,000 before this year end. 10,000 before this year end. I already know I'm going to reach that. I got some shit up my sleeve. You dig what I'm saying? Let's hop straight into this video. Stop playing. I, I do. I do box. It's over with. I can't rap no more. So he said if he do boxing, he can't rap no more. Oh, he said he's scared he gonna lose. That's what he's saying. It's a percentage in his head. He think he gonna lose to Pretty Boy Fredo. I know what he mean. If he lose, his whole career is gonna be over. Cause people gonna clown him for getting beat up by light skin nigga. I know what that means. Speaking of getting beat up, nigga, my worst fear is getting beat up in front of your my girlfriend. She. That's a, that's the worst. That's a dude's worst fear. All right. G on the roster. Now DDG went live. He was dissing Fredo. He was talking about the boxing match. He was talking about new music, etc., etc. But what stood out to me is when he started talking about the boxing match. Now we all know. I want to see that Fredo too. And DDG was supposed to box. Well, it never happened. But if you read between the lines, when DDG was talking about the boxing match. It sounds like he didn't really want to box Pretty Boy Fredo. But let me stop all the talking and get straight right, to these. You guys, we is now back to my head. Call me my fault. So before we do that, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe with post notifications turned on. Let's go. I need to put my career on the line. Imagine I box it, right? And then knock my daughter some. See? I'm done, bro. Say that I, I do I do box and then knock my out it's over with i can't rap he no think he think he gonna get beat up you I shouldn't think no you're gonna get beat up by nobody done. you should you know be able to stand us you should be able to stand toe to toe, -to -toe with anybody you think you're gonna, gonna win scared, that's light skin shit nigga doubts. think he gonna lose he have doubts that he might not win that boxing match who doubts they self in a fight crazy Nigga, if I'm in a fight, nigga, my goal, goal is to beat match. you up. I mean, that's just my and your goal is to beat me up. Like Ain't no, <sighs> is he gonna beat me now, up? I'm gonna off, swing. Did he just scared? Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, he 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 was scared. Let's let's just say that. Ain't none of that doubt. And who doubts themselves in a fight? October 31st. He, dissed, he dissed your dead brother. You said, you said he was smoking him in his song. 
But you Come on, really you doubt yourself. What? In that should push you to be the up even more. You was riding that wave. Then you put out an older song you already had out called Let You Win. Then after that, nothing. Everything else was just remixes. I mean, I'm just reading between the lines. Feel me? But let's keep going. With my tango cat. With my, I got my ass beat for one time. I was like, damn, I really lost. And I was crying about it. Then I fought another. And after that, I kind of lost my confidence. Then I end up losing again. Bro, that, that just dang in there and made me mad. This nigga doubting himself. He gonna get beat up. So basically, it sounds to me like he has what? a bunch of doubt. Like he wanna box him, but he have a bunch of doubt. Like he not gonna win. Oh, and if he that, don't bro. win, he you, gonna you scared. Crazy. Ain't no, ain't no doubts, man. nigga. He, he you scared. He rap no more after that. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Well, it looks like the truth is coming out after all these months. You feel me? I'm into it with somebody he want to scrap me fighting. DDG. Ain't no doubt in myself. Hold on, DDG. But Come not on, only man. did he talk about the boxing with Pretty Boy Fredo, he talked about his label and releasing new Pretty Boy music. Fredo finna Why clown him. So he see this video. He and he or DDG right say he's doubting himself that Pretty Boy Fredo gonna beat him up. I realize as a signed artist, this You're... company got a hundred... Or 400 or 500 different artists that they got to push. You know what I mean? And if you ain't got your own going, how could they help you when they focusing on somebody else? And it's a lot of artists that's at the label that I'm at that's a lot bigger than me. So I came to the realization that I got to blow myself up. So last year, I was dropping my own. Ooh, 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 all that. So basically, if y'all don't know what he's talking about, when you sign to a major label, they have a roster full of artists, right? And he now, got his own little fan base. What is he talking about? A lot of other artists that was he don't need his record, his uh, rap label to push his music to get views. He got his own, he got a fan, whole fan base. He's to drop his tape as fast as he wants. What? Everybody be in his comment sections that I see. Drop the tape, drop the tape, drop the tape. Drop it's it on YouTube. It's your YouTube. You to a major record label, you know what I'm saying? And you have a major deal. It's not that easy. Drop Cottonmouth first, revealed that I was... You know what? That's what he get. Nigga was rushing to get signed. He ain't thinking through. This what happened. Yeah, you got signed and they holding on to your music and you can't do nothing about it. Come on, how many rappers have said they've been through this? Let's come on. Like everybody don't know that it's my song. They just know that that's a lit song. So if y'all didn't understand what he was saying, basically he said he had to push Moonwalking and Calabasas himself before the label jumped behind. And then they could help him. So basically he had to kickstart his own career. And then they jumped behind and put the money behind. What's wrong with that? To radio. For him to do shows, etc., etc. That's how the that's how these labels do. They wait for you to push your own music, and then they're jumping after the fact. Yeah, you you can't sign to a record label with no at least with no fan base behind you. You gotta have somewhat that, fan base. That I did with Moonwalk, and I think that's end up going. <laughs> Not yet, cause I haven't really promoted it, but I think end up going. So I feel like what blew that Moonwalking and Calabasas song was the blue face of first. Blue face in the DG, hoes at the BNB, watching the DVD, Divinir, DVD, 2020, Vision, ABC, DFG. That was hard. Now that y'all seen that and heard that, man, stroll down to the comment section. Tell me what y'all think about this yeah, whole situation. Do y'all think he's scared to fight Fredo? Do y'all think he's scared he's that he's going to lose? Do he... He's scared. Man, yeah. he's scared. I mean, that's just don't, my I never heard somebody say they doubt they self in a fight that they gonna lose. I know I got some DDG minions in my comment section, and I'm gonna block y'all as soon as y'all write something crazy. I'm just letting y'all know. So, with that being said, man, to all my supporters, man, y'all can get down in the comment section and voice your opinion. Y'all already know how. If you doubt yourself in a fight that so you're gonna lose, but most of the time you're gonna lose because you already think you win. But if you go in that fight. Man, focusing on beating the crap out of the dudes who fighting. Then sure it's a percentage you, you might get so yeah. Labels going to push no. you and push you and push your release date back until you get another hit. So basically, he going to have to get another hit besides Moonwalking and Calabasas. Anyway, with that being said, make sure y'all smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. 
with post notifications turned off. That's funny. The haters thought they could stop me, but they can't stop me, baby. I don't care. That's about funny the right there. All right, y'all, that is all for today's video. Can okay, everybody who watches leave a like and subscribe? Mostly subscribe because you know I'm trying to reach 10,000 before this year end. But right now, we focus on reaching 3K. Peace on BD, on GD, on KD. What? It's a drought through the pandemic, so I'm taxing for that work. I need 33 a bow and I need 18 for a perk. I spent 1800 on lean and spilled it on my fucking shirt. Niggas mad that I've been shining, girl, I do this shit for dirt. I'm that nigga that been trapping out here getting it on my own.